it's week five. It's crazy. Um, this is actually the week where we would be taking a test. And with the accelerated pace of a classroom versus the slowed down pace of distance learning, what we've done is we've taken that test and just expanded it into this entire week. So it's been divided into three different chunks and they're all classworks right now. And I'm suggesting that you do them according to your week five daily calendar, which will be posted right here. Um, I have it pulled up. So I've gone ahead and made you these. These are the suggested deadlines, but you'll see in your Google Classroom that everything's actually due on Friday. So if you want to not feel swamped and behind, you really are going to want to turn in your scales tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and review your scales how to write them, what they look like, and then show you the notation, the rhythmic notation for your grade. All right, so you'll need your scale composition classwork too. And then anything that you need to use to review, like the general review from last Monday that has your scales on it. Then you're going to complete and submit scale composition classwork two. It is a soft deadline. I suggest you do it today on Monday, April 27th. So this is what we're going to call how to write a scale. I've chosen the key of one sharp, the key of G major, just for this example. It's not one of the keys that's on your graded paper because I'm not trying to give away everything, but it is actually really similar to the, the keys that are on your graded paper. So it's just enough help. All right, so if you're in G major, let me go ahead and put that up here. That's going to tell you where you place your first note. You have to know where G is on the treble clef and on the bass clef. On the treble clef, our lowest line is E. Walk it up to F. Leave it right here on G. Let's go ahead and call it Do. You've been asked to write a scale. You have not been asked to write chords. So this first pitch on the treble clef is done. On the bass clef, our lowest line is G. Our lines are the great big dogs fight animals. Let's call it do. Treble clef. Let's go all the way up. If this is do, ray is right above. We are not skipping any lines or spaces. Again, there are no chords here. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. It's singable. You can play it with one finger just moving up continually. Mi, fa, so, la, ti, and do. Add the solfege, do it again on the bass clef, and you're done. I'm going to show you what the whole completed scale would look like. Pause when you see it if you need to focus. Again, this is G major, the key of only one sharp. And we have found the letter G on our lines and spaces as our beginning point. We have found the letter G as the beginning point on the bass clef. Do not stack any chords. Don't do it. You do not need it. That's creating extra work for yourself. You should find that both of the keys that are on your grade today are very similar to G major. They're going to be shifted up a little bit or shifted down a little bit. There is a need for some minor ledger line in one of the keys but it's not crazy. Nothing crazy. So now you're ready. Again, feel free to hang out in this part of the video if you want to spend some extra time on this. For the actual grade, which will be in your classwork tab, scale composition classwork 2, your PDF will be here. And sometimes it's been doing this kind of thing where it opens it, but it doesn't really show you what you want to see. And then I suggest that you click on the three dots, let me go ahead and bring this, and say open in a new window. That's in case it does anything strange. Use the week five video one, that's this, to complete your rhythmic notation questions. I'm only gonna say them one time each in the video, and then you can just go back and hear them as many times as you need to. Use the video to complete these questions. This is rhythmic notation. So you're going to have quarter notes, half notes, 
eighth note pairs, sixteenth notes, quarter rests. Um, please do include your notes on the line and then the labels down below. So if I say one, draw that quarter note right here and put a one below. You need this paper or recreate this worksheet on your own page and a pen or pencil. Number one for the first time, two measures. If you want to use the tick marks above, go ahead and prepare your measures. And I will count you in. Number one. One, two, ready, and. One, and. Three, and. One E and a two, three. Playback number one if you want to hear it again. Two times, three times, five times, whatever you need. Number two. Number two is also two measures. I will be saying this one time, play it back for whatever you need, and I'll count you in. One, two, ready, and. One, and, two, E, and, a, uh, three, and, four. One, three. That's your notation. Now remember, we reviewed G major for the scales, and you're asked for A major and F major, and that is no coincidence. Write your required scales on both treble and bass clef. Each clef will need eight quarter notes to be complete. Take a picture, or if you're working with um, exporting through Kami, that's been awesome. If you're working in Microsoft Paint, I've seen some great work there. You're gonna want to add your assignment to the add or create button in the classroom and you are good to go. Tomorrow we are reviewing how to write chords before your grade on Wednesday and then on Thursday we're reviewing how to identify chords before your grade on Friday but really it's all due on Friday so if you can just knock out these scales now on Monday you're really gonna thank yourself later. So good job, keep it up, week five in the works. Bye!